reporting for InfoWatch Wexford. I'm talking to Ashley uh, of the Nationwide Anti-Fluoride Campaign. Hello, Ash. Hello, Basil. How are you? I'm fine. So can... Reporting from Trulli County, Trulli in County Kerry. What's it about, well, the, the uh, anti-fluoride campaign? Uh, well, I'll just tell you when it started, really. Um, it was May of 2011. Um, it was the principal of the college that I'm studying in from Devon in the UK. And she came over and to Tralee and she gave a number of talks in different hotels about different health, health issues. And um, most in particular, she was speaking about mental health problems and how that is, you know, such an epidemic in Ireland at the moment. Right. And she, and she went on to, to explain that our water had been fluoridated since the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And she just described that when fluoride is present in the water and foods, that um, the body is then uh, made deficient in iodine because fluoride is a halogen. And it competes with iodine. Right. So with the lack of iodine in the diet, the fluoride goes into all the iodine receptor sites in the body and makes the body deficient. Um, so it actually then starts to affect thyroid functioning. Mm -hmm. Then that will affect the endocrine system. And um, it also has another massive implication with the blood-brain barrier because we have this membrane in our, in our brain that protects our most vital organ from the crossing through of different chemicals and heavy metals and things. But when fluoride is present, it actually opens up the blood brain barrier. So it's allowing heavy metals like the aluminiums and things to travel yeah. through. So the brain is, is left unprotected. Right. So this was a huge issue for us because, well, I'm training in this nutrition and I'm setting up my own practice and you know, we discussed how the people of Ireland cannot re regain their health as long as fluoridation is still in place. So she said to us when she was leaving for the UK, she said, if there's one thing you do, please get fluoride out of Ireland. You know, because it's really destroying, it's destroying the, the health of, of everybody. Well, I think you know, it's affecting people in many, many different ways. And you see... It's going to affect people differently because everybody has different genetic predispositions. So yes. it may manifest in it may manifest in different in different illnesses. Like it could be cancer for one, it could be depression for another, it could be low thyroid, heart disease, arthritis, um, IBS, um, lowered IQ, ADHD. You know, the list goes on. It's really, truly horrific. Well, depression, that's, so we, that's an interesting... Depression is a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah, because she re she, she's noticed in her practice mm -hmm. that people with depression, five years before um, their depression manifests, that their thyroid functioning starts to decrease. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is directly caused by, you know, fluoride in the environment. So... You know, it's in the water, it's in our foods, toothpaste, and how drinks, does, how does you know. It, Ashley, how does it get into the water? Well, it's actually being put in by a company at the moment called Chemiflac. Mm -hmm. So it's, at, it's um, which is um, coming from the north of Ireland at the moment. Right. And they're pumping in this stuff called hydrofluoric acid. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just fluoride. Fluoride is one of the ingredients in this hydrofluoric acid, alongside um, mercury, um, lead, aluminium, Deadly. and many different heavy metals. Yes. You know? So this is, this is a very highly toxic substance that's been pumped into everybody's water supplies. So when we say fluoride, it's a catch-all term for many chemicals. Yeah, it's actually, the real term is hydrofluoric acid. Yeah, and people should look that up. Yeah, so it's um, H Y D R O F L O, sorry, F L U R O S I L I C I C. So it's a bit of a long word, but <laughs> that's what's been put in. And um, the HSE say that it's safe at one part per million. Yes. Okay. 
Yes, yes, yes. You've heard of that. However, we've had food tests done of many very um, popular foodstuffs in Ireland. That's right. I have the I have the I have the test results here. I'm just looking at them. Yeah, you shocked and because I, I was I'm a great fan of porridge, and I thought that's a very healthy food. There's nothing there's nothing in it. It's just oats, and now you're telling me there's fluoride in it. Yeah, there's this hydrofluoric acid in Irish oats, and um, let me just get the actual yeah the number. It's coming in. Butter. Oh, yes, it's coming in at three, just over three parts per million in Irish oats. And it's in. That's ke- shocking, isn't it? Ke- Kerrygold butter. Kerrygold butter uh, is coming in at. Yeah. Five ppm. Yeah, butter was just five parts per million, actually over five parts per million in the butter, in the Kerrygold butter. Yeah. And Dubliners Dubliners cheese at twenty nine parts per million. Right. And which is highly, highly toxic. And Bulmer's cider magnus nine parts per million. Nine nine part just over nine parts per million is the exact result. And whiskey was over one part per million as well. So uh, that was Jameson's whiskey Jameson's whiskey. Okay, so we, so by me not drinking the tap water and uh, not using using the toothpaste with the fluoride in it, I haven't been avoiding it at all when I've been eating uh, butter and and uh, porridge and, and and drinking boomers. I'm still getting the fluoride. You're still getting it at at um, at, at such high levels that it's actually you know it's completely it's a toxic yeah. um, cocktail. Yeah. You know these foods should be swiped off the market. They yeah. shouldn't even be allowed to be sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so harmful because um, they've done animal studies and they've shown that even anything over eight parts per million can cause serious, you know, disruption. In, in animals. In animals.